Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dr. Angela Rogers and I am one of the core faculty. Welcome to our slideshow on Family Medicine Continuity Clinic Training at Contra Costa Family Medicine Residency Program. These are the building blocks from which high functioning primary care residency clinics are defined by Bodenheimer and the colleagues in 2016 who are nation leaders in primary care education. We meet each of these blocks and the following slides will illustrate how we address some of these building blocks. Continuity of care is central to your family medicine clinic. In our system, providers see their own patients 70 to 75% of the time. Conversely, our patients see their PCP 65 to 70% of the time. Our system emphasizes team-based care. At each clinic site, residents are on the same provider team. Residents are paired with the same medical assistant for their family medicine clinic. This person also serves as their nurse panel manager and facilitates medication refills, in-basket messages, and more for all of the patients within your panel. Residents also have a care coordinator who assists with referrals and DME orders. This slide shows how many patients our residents have on their roster per half day. We start with four patients per half day and slowly ramp up to nine patients by the end of third year. We have a typical 80% show rate system-wide, so typically the actual number of patients seen is slightly less than the numbers displayed. Residents are assigned their own panel of patients, which increases from 100 patients during their first year to 250 when they reach their third year. Out of all the building blocks for high-functioning primary care residency clinics, this is the part we struggle with the most. Our third next available appointment, a national standard used to gauge a patient's access to care, varies between 18 to 31 days depending on the clinic site. This long wait for an appointment is primarily due to the overwhelmingly high number of patients our system needs to care for and insufficient number of primary care providers in our county. When staffing clinics with attending preceptors, ACGME regulations allow a ratio of up to four residents per preceptor. Our goal here is to have a three to one ratio or better, which allows for much better teaching and supervision in resident clinic. We also provide didactic teaching session integrated in clinic once to twice a week for our residents on a topic commonly seen in family practice clinic. With our current schedule and block rotations during their third years here, our residents do an average of 1,283 hours of family medicine clinics, which is equivalent to about 320 clinics and a total of 1,650 patients on average. Contra Costa is a large county that spans the San Francisco East Bay, from Richmond, El Cerrito in the rest, all the way to Brentwood in the farthest eastern side of the county. The Contra Costa Health Services System has multiple clinic sites throughout the county. Residents in our program have their family medicine continuity clinics at three of the largest clinics in our system. The West County Health Center, the Martinez Health Center, and the Pittsburgh Health Center. Once residents match into our program, they undergo a process in which they will be assigned their continuity sites based on their preferences and other factors. You will get an overall very similar outpatient education regardless of where your clinic site is based. This is a map of average household income by zip code in Contra Costa County from the 2000 census. Current data is similar. Some parts of Contra Costa are very wealthy, shown in green. We do not have any clinics in those areas. 
our clinics are located in the most low resourced and underfunded areas of the county. And the vast majority of the patients we serve have incomes that are way below the poverty line. Most of our patients are medically and socially complex, and you will get a similar training regardless of your site. We serve a highly diverse patient population at each site. Residents have patients from all ages of their panel from zero to 100 plus years old and prenatal patients at all clinics. Our clinics have a great racial and ethnic diversity, which reflect the surrounding population of each clinic. While the majority of our patients speak English as a primary language, 14 to 50% primarily speak a different language depending on the clinic site. There are more than 50 languages spoken by our patients throughout our clinics. If the patient's primary language is not English, clinicians need to use an interpreter unless the provider is bilingual in the same language as the patient. If needed, interpreters are available via video or phone for most languages. In addition to common primary care skills, our residents routinely do procedures in family medicine clinics such as joint injections, IUD and Nexplanon placements and removals, skin biopsies, splints, toenail removals, and more. There is so much to say about primary care ambulatory clinics. We are excited to share more with you, and we hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.